How is Kendra LC Fall League different from other Fall Leagues? Well, for, first of all, our, our Fall League, we try to, obviously, it's all about repetitive exercise. Um, not to disrespect any other Fall Leagues, but, you know, the, the main thing with our Fall Leagues are, are trying to establish and understand, make the parent understand the strengths and weaknesses of their kids. So it's all about repetitive exercise. So you could actually, if my son's playing shortstop in other Fall Leagues, and he goes 0 for 3 and has 3 strikeouts, he really didn't do anything to accomplish his game. So in our fall leagues, we have, you know, it's more of an instruction league game when we do play our games. Um, as far as if your son's a little leadoff hitter like I was, you know, and he happens to pop out or something, he'll actually go to first base. I'll put him on first base and we'll do leads and breaks. Or I'll try to really uh, overemphasize the mental side of the game and make this kid understand, you know, what he has to do to become a better base dealer. It's all about becoming a complete player. Um, so we try to establish uh, an instructional league environment versus just having a game and having a kid go out there and getting three or four at bats and playing shortstop and not getting a ground ball hit to him. Um, we also have a two and a half hour practice during the week with my staff, which includes myself, Eric Pappas, Dan Pasqua, all ex major league uh, baseball players. And we try to do a little bit more specific training. Um, we'll have station work. And, and again, the fall league's more about repetitive exercise. For the, so that two and a half hour practice, we'll be out there doing station work. Your son, if he's working on the infield, he might get 100 to 200 ground balls versus just going into another fall league and then just getting four at bats. So we really try to stress and focus on repetitive exercise for that two and a half hour practice. And then we try to just counter that with having games on the weekends and try to implement the, the repetitive exercise. And hopefully the kid at the end of our fall league will actually become a, a more complete player and understand his strengths and weaknesses as a baseball player. What type of player are you looking for to fill the Cangelo C. Fall League? Well, obviously we're looking for the competitive player, but you know the, the, the unique thing about our, our Fall Leagues are we're looking for any kid that really wants to play at the next level. Uh, with that being said, you know we want our kids, the, the good kids, we, we want to instruct and make them better, obviously to help them go on and, and, and be more competitive at the high school level and, and get in college scholarships as well. For that average kid or below average kid, we want to put them in a situation where we could push them. And, and again, it's all about learning how to practice and becoming a better player. So for me, you know, we're taking all kids on and we're going to put them in a, in a very good situation to where they can be successful. You know, the, the problem out there in youth baseball is there's a lot of kids out there that are playing in uh, fall leagues or they're playing in certain situations where it's just not competitive enough for them. So for me, in an ideal situation, we're going to try and put those, those, uh, the kids that are more competitive or you know, maybe they're a little ahead of the other kids, we're going to put them in a situation where they're competing against the same competition. And the kids that are striving to become better, we're not only going to help them understand how to practice, but we're going to put them in the same environment. So hopefully at the end of the day, each kid will get better at the end of the fall league. You said before with the fall league that there's a two and a half hour weekly practice. Tell me more about that. Yeah, last year, you know, in our fall league, uh, during the two and a half hour practice, we had anywhere from 50 to 60 kids per group, and we broke them up into uh, station work. We had about 10, 10 instructors per, per session. And what we did to kind of give you a, a, a vision is we broke them into stations. And, you know, we had an outfield station. We had an infield station. We had uh, our pitching coach, Billy Cobb, work the sides and teaching kids how to, you know, long toss and, and a throwing program. Um, the infielders worked on, you know, their feet work, uh, you know, just any kind of fundamentals that an infielder needs. I worked with the outfielders, the base runners. So for me, anytime we broke these small groups into a specific training atmosphere, we got repetitive exercise. And that's the key to anything that you do in baseball, that these kids aren't getting out there. I mean, we even had a bunting station to which is a lost start. So for me, the, the more we can counteract and we, we, can, we can help these kids understand how to practice, and then after that, it's just repetitive exercise and make them understand what part of game that they need to do to be successful at the higher levels is what we try to accomplish in our fall leagues. Do you have any final thoughts? Well, first of all, I, I just want parents and, and, and players out there to realize that, you know, for, for me, the reason why we're doing these fall leagues and other leagues and other programs that we implement here is because in the game of baseball, you know, for, for me, my personal comment is, you know, if I was told every time I was too small or I couldn't do this or I had a below average arm or I didn't grade out right in these fall expo uh, or these exposure camps, um, I, don't, I, I don't want you guys to give up. I could have been pumping gas 20 years ago if I listened every time someone told me that I couldn't do something. So whenever we try to accomplish something in the Dome or any kind of programs we run, not only do we try to get your kids better and make them understand how to practice and create discipline, but at the end of the day we want them to believe in their abilities.
Where can people go to sign up or to find out more information about the Fall League? You could actually come to uh, the Bo Jackson Leeds Sports Dome, which is located in Lockport, Illinois, or you can go to my website, CangeloseBaseball.com, and uh, sign up online.